The truth about the tragic death of former Mozambique President Samora Michel will finally come out. The vow was made by Mozambique authorities at the commemoration of Michel's death in Mbuzini. Michel was killed when his plane crashed into the hillside 29 years ago. He was returning to Maputo after attending a summit in Zambia. Remembering one of Southern Africa's colorful leaders, Samona Michel and 34 of his compatriots were killed when his aircraft, Tupelo 134, crashed on the Mbuzini Mountains in 1986. It is suspected that Michel's plane was lured off course by a false beacon. South Africa sanctioned an inquiry into Michel's death in 2012. The investigation of this plane crash are continuing and we understand the, the way the criminals made this crash was very complex. That's why the specialists are still continuing themselves to working, to investigate and we are we, sure that one day we'll know what's happening in this crash. The Samar Machel family was not satisfied about the, the results of the investigation. So even right now, it's incomplete. That is, that is why they're, they're still, the investigation is still on. 29 years after his death, Machel is still hailed as having been a rare breed of a leader. It is important because Samora Michel, who died here in this place, is one of the very strongest and very important leaders in our country. It is very important to us for South African and Mozambican because this day makes us to be one nation. The Samora Michel monument marks the spot where the plane crashed. It was declared a national heritage site in 2006. It incorporates some of the wreckage of Michelle's plane and 35 tubes of steel. At the bottom of each pole, you would find that there's, a, that there's a running of rust down each pole. And when it rains, the rust looks very red. And this is symbolic of the blood of each of those individuals that have flowed during that time. It is envisaged that the monument, which is popular among tourists, will help stimulate the economy of this rural community. Mwedi Maslela, SAPC News. In Buzini, in Pumalanga.